Hello, um, my name is Peter Lee. I'm here to do my sample speech of introduction for our public speaking class. So uh, let's get started. I'm actually using loom.com for this uh, less than five minute presentation because that's all I get for the free version. So here we go. Um, first, uh, three main points. Uh, number one, I'll be talking about my past, uh, childhood, schooling, and my family. Uh, and then number two, we'll talk about the present. Uh, what's going on with work, uh, my current family, dogs, and my lifestyle. Number three, we'll talk about the future. I'm 50 years old, but the future is going to be awesome. And I have a little quote to get my speech started here, and it's, uh, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift, and that's why we call it the present. So, all right. Uh, and I like to mountain bike, so I have a little picture of me um, out on this little cliffside. So here we go. Um, point number one, the past. Uh, so I grew up here in the South Bay. I graduated from Fremont High School in Sunnyvale. Uh, I came from a family of four. Uh, but we lost my sister in a car accident in 1992. It was a long time ago. Uh, time heals all wounds, kind of. Um, but that's just something you should know about me. Uh, University of Miami, 1993. Uh, graduated degree in communication, hurricanes. Um, Florida State University, I graduated in 1997 with my MS in communication. And then uh, I went to University of Colorado for law school and graduated in 2002 uh, with my Juris Doctorate. So, and I've been teaching communication part-time for... Uh, 16 years uh, part-time and practicing law for 19 years plus now and transactional work is what I do in the legal field but no now I'm kind of focused on playing being mentally and physically healthy and family you can see I'm also doing a little mountain biking in that picture I like to jump off things and then so let's talk about number two uh, present the present because you know we're talking about me mountain biking so I, I'm the dad life um, you can see by some of the pictures here uh, I got two kids uh, a nine-year-old daughter who's about to do fourth grade and my son Roman who's about to be a first grader um, they're great kids, by the way. Uh, work is great, but it's no longer the focus. Um, the career doesn't define me, shape really who I am. Um, so uh, I don't really talk about that too much in the sense of like what I, who I am and what I'm doing. I, I'm more focused on other things. When you 10 years ago, career was a big part of my life, though. So work is great, but no longer the focus. And, and so now I actually uh, I live in Sunnyvale, and I live in South Lake Tahoe. I'm actually doing this speech from South Lake Tahoe. It's uh, Holiday, holiday weekend coming up. It's really hot. Um, it's really crowded here, but uh, the lifestyle is terrific, and, and I talked about that. I have two dogs. They love the lifestyle here. They get to swim, uh, bike with me, and go uh, skiing with me in the winter. Uh, I mountain bike. And that's what MTB means. Uh, and ski, and I'm super active. Um, I'm in pretty good shape, and um, I get out five to six times a week um, and burn a lot of calories. Uh, and the social life matters. You want, you want to have friends. It's really, really important for your for your own self-esteem, confidence, and not being lonely, and having having good relationships, and communication is a big part of that, by the way. So, uh, for me, social life is really, really important. Um, I actually was hit, be able to hit the club last night. That was super fun. Uh, one of my friends, they're like super ballers. They they got the bottle service private room, and it was like for two hours. It was like a lot of money, um, but it was it was a good experience. Just you know, during COVID, we haven't done very much stuff like that, so that was great. And uh, you can see my dogs on top of the mountain, uh, backcountry ski, go up there. Uh, my daughter riding a horse. The horse's name is Ruby. She's actually in Milpitas at Indian Hills Ranch. Um, so we have someone who, uh, a caretaker who comes after because being in South Lake Tahoe, it's hard to pay attention to the horse. But um, uh, long story too, really, uh, I inherited the horse, by the way. It's kind of, so it, the, the owner died. And um, so I took, took the horse over. So anyhow, um, so when it passes, eventually uh, we won't replace it. I, and I also uh, don't want to replace the dogs because in the future, at least in point number three, is I want to travel. Um, and having dogs is kind of a joke. And there's a picture of my kids just hanging out in Lake Tahoe. So family's going to grow up. I'm, I'm really excited to see that, where they go with their life. Um, I don't have too many expectations any now, but, uh, but I just want them to be happy. Um, and tomorrow's not guaranteed, right? You know, that, that goes back to what happened to my sister. So you, you want to live every day uh, like, you know, it matters. And then technology is really, really fascinating. I build computers and obviously we use our phones. Um, software is not my super specialty, but obviously we interface with a lot. And um, there you go. And, and then uh, driving a Tesla is really a technological experience if you ever get to do that. And, and I want to travel, right? That goes back to what I talked about earlier. I want to uh, use my passport, take the kids to Europe. Um, we're, um, I'm Korean, so I'd love to take my kids to Korea so they could see some what that South Korea is like, to see the culture, the heritage, and, and just the, it's a really interesting country. Um, K-pop, Korean barbecue, you know, we're onto all that stuff. And uh, community, country, and planet. Um, I care about my community. It's one reason I teach. I want to give back, um, and I want to help people. And also, the country, I'm, I'm a patriot, 4th of July. Where, where's my American flag? I should have grabbed it. But I don't have it here. It's outside. Uh, and then uh, I know there's one in the car and one in the garden. But anyhow, and, and the planet. You got to you know, take care of the earth uh, so my kids can ha uh, do all the things that I was able to do. And then I want to live to be uh, 100 years old. That's just a goal. And if I don't, you know, it's been a pleasure one way or the other. It's a win-win. Uh, but I live my way uh, lifestyle now.
Yeah, you know, I want to be a centenarian, and that's part of the future. And if I do everything right and uh, I'm lucky, because I think luck has a lot to do with it, honestly, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get, get to that goal. Maybe I'll see my children get married and have children too, and I'll have grandkids. Who knows, though? So, um, all right, so uh, I was just introducing myself. I talked about three main points. My name was Peter. Number one, I talked about my past, childhood, schooling, the family. Number two, I talked about the present, uh, work, family, dogs, and lifestyle. And number three, we talked about the future. I'm 50 years old, but the future is going to be awesome. You know, it's going to be fun, learning, and supportive uh, uh, classroom. Uh, I say carpe diem. That means, you know, seize the day. Uh, like I said, tomorrow's not guaranteed. And uh, this is a link to my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, um, you can learn a little bit more about me for sure by what uh, looking at the videos app and if you want to watch them go ahead uh, some of them um, are my, my son skiing is, is one of the most popular videos that I have and then uh, this is a picture of my kids just hanging out in the back of my truck with their friends and my dogs um, and that's pretty much the dad life all right thanks a lot and it was great um, introducing myself I look forward to hearing from all of you and I'm excited to teach you uh, the, the art of public speaking so you can um, take your life and do what you want with it just like I am all right bye bye